Now, as people get vaccinated, it seems more experienced side effects from the second shot. According to the CDC, nearly 7,000 Americans reported reactions during the first month of the vaccine rollout, primarily flu symptoms. So tonight, Eight on Your Side is separating fact from fiction. Melanie Michael is live for us at the health department in Tampa. Yeah, we're hearing different stories from different people, people having different side effects, especially after that second shot. Hey, Josh, good evening to you. Lots of people talking about this. So we did go to a medical expert and really ask those questions that everyone else wants to know. If you got the second shot, what about the side effects? What's normal and what's not? For Marla Green, the second COVID shot allows her the first chance in months to visit family far away. During the pandemic, she relied on close friends that she considers family. Marla says she's hoping they won't suffer side effects. It was important to get those people that were at risk taken care of because they're part of our community. Turns out Marla's not alone as she watches for those side effects from the second shot. During the first month of vaccinations, the CDC also kept a close eye on the side effects, reporting nearly 7,000 Americans with flu symptoms, including headache, fatigue, chills, nausea, and body aches. So this is all, this is normal, normal side effects, nothing that over the counter, you know, Motrin Tylenol won't fix. Medical experts at a FEMA vaccine site in Tampa tell us since the second shot is a booster, it hits the body hard, often triggering that flu like feeling. And you shouldn't worry, it is typically not severe and doesn't last long. So how do you know if those side effects are dangerous? Our expert says go to the ER if you experience this. Shortness of breath, chest pain, you know, numbness or tingling in the extremities, facial swelling of any kind, tongue, mouth, lips. One very popular question after the second shot, people want to know, how long does it take to be totally pandemic protected? What's the magic number? Our expert says 28 days. And when she shares that information with patients, it brings tears to their eyes. It's been very, uh, very emotional for a lot of people. 